what are your cooking skills? You know, when it comes to cooking, the right ingredient matters to ensure that the dish comes out well. And uh, the Bible talks about certain ingredients to ensure that our life is successful, that our life is fruitful. And we see that in 2 Peter 1, verses 5 to 8, where Peter talks about adding to our faith certain qualities. And uh, he says, add to our, your faith virtue, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. So uh, he says, add to your faith character. And the second one that he says is, to character, add knowledge. Of course, knowledge, uh, the word knowledge that is used in this ep epistle uh, is talking about knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, God declares, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So a spiritual knowledge, um, you know, when it comes to spiritual knowledge, ignorance is not bliss, right? Spiritual knowledge actually is our inheritance. It's our spiritual inheritance. Knowledge of God's word, it leads us to know what God has in store for us, who we are and the authority that we have, the identity that we have, the purpose that we have in life, the things that have been freely given to us by the grace of God. All that we come to know because of our spiritual knowledge. And our spiritual knowledge also brings spiritual strength. Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32 talks about uh, how the people of God, they that know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. And that word know is a truth experience, an experiential understanding, an experiential knowledge. Um, spiritual knowledge also causes a renewing of the mind. It, it's not just accumulation of information, but it causes a renewing of the mind which leads to a transformed life. So when we add spiritual knowledge and understanding to our life, when we increase uh, a spiritual knowledge and understanding in our lives, it leads to all these good things. So how do I increase in spiritual knowledge? I need to have an appetite for God's word. I need to have, an, uh, have a hunger for God. And anytime my hunger level goes down, I need to check and see, hey, something is wrong. You know, if uh, in, in the natural, if, our app if we don't have an appetite, that means uh, there's something wrong, right? Something is killing the appetite. Maybe uh, we are not well, or maybe we have, a, uh, we have some infection, we have some temperature, some fever, because of which our, our natural appetite is, um, is brought low. So have an appetite for God, have an appetite, have an increased appetite for God's word. Read the Bible in a disciplined way. When we read the word, when we meditate on the word, when we confess the word, um, you know, we, we accumulate spiritual understanding. We sow the word to our spirit. Um, we also uh, increase in our spiritual understanding when we listen to the revelation of the Holy Spirit, when we receive the revelation of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit reveals the word of God. The Holy Spirit brings revelation knowledge to our spirit. Um, and and um, uh, it, it, it may not make sense you know, Paul writes and he says that uh, the, the, the Father, the Son was revealed to him in his spirit, in him. So spiritual knowledge comes by revelation. It is received by revelation and we receive it in our heart. Um, so when we increase in our spiritual knowledge and understanding, we, we, are, we are stronger in faith and it leads to life transformation. So add to your faith knowledge. Add to your faith knowledge of God's word. Increase in the grace of God. Increase in the understanding of God's word. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that your word is life itself, that your word gives strength. And we pray that we may have a hunger for your word, like newborn babies desire milk, Lord. I pray that anything that comes in the way of hindering that hunger will be put away today. That there will be, a, um, that there will be an increased fervor for your word. There will be an increased fervor for your ways. There will be an increased appetite for your word, Lord. We pray that you will bring it to pass in our lives. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.